So, uh, cracks, cracks, deal, all the way up. And even here, sa roof deck namin, meron at meron pa rin mga ganitong klaseng cracks. Ito, concrete slab namin, this cracked off then and leaked water that we sealed off. And a lot of you have been messaging me that they have that problem. Paminsan, it causes leaks sa mga roof deck, etc. So, today, we're going to talk about that. So why do things like these happen, like don't crack na to. This is a solid concrete wall and it still cracks. So why does it happen even if yung bahay bago pa? And I'm sure a lot of you homeowners out there can relate. You've at least experienced one of these common types of problem. Is it because hindi lang talaga marunong yung contractors natin? Or is there something more to it? So let me explain why this happens. So I'm sure wherever you are sitting right now or wherever you're watching this, if you look around you and you look at anything that's concrete, whether it's your walls or your flooring, if you look hard enough, meron kayong makikita na cracks. Sometimes it's because it's poor workmanship, but most of the time, especially if it's just hairline cracking sa mga walls, it is perfectly normal. And there are so many reasons why that happens, but I'll give you some examples. Imagine if this were your land, and ito yung bahay natin. And sometimes, di ba, umuulan, or malakas yung ulan. Di ba parang nagmo-move yung soil around it? And the soil around it, nagsisip siya ng slowly, slowly, slowly. And nalulus yung soil, especially because the house is heavy the soil moves around a little bit. It breathes a little bit. And then, paminsan, it dries up na naman. So, even if we think that our house doesn't move at all, gumagalaw pa rin siya ng konti from time to time. And this is just one example. Paminsan, this happens because sobrang init or sobrang lamig. At night, it's malamig. And at daytime, natatamaan ng araw. So, it's mainit. So, nagko-contract and nag-expand yung mga elements ng bahay natin. That's why you're most likely to see yung mga cracks sa mga outdoor areas or yung mga walls that are facing the outdoor side. This is also why, fun fact, kung makikita nyo sa mga bridge, may parang ngipin na steel every so often. This is because nag-e-expand and nagko-contract yung bridge. And those mga ngipin, tinatawag natin expansion joints, are there so that gumagalaw yung bridge without it damaging it. So, a bridge is actually not as static as it seems. But syempre, cracks can still be a problem pa rin. Sometimes it's aesthetic, and sometimes dun pa mapasok yung tubig galing sa labas. So, how do we repair them? Guys, before we move any further, Ito, nagka-crack siya, di ba? This is light block. And it cracks a little less than hollow block. It performs better kasi may mga special formulation kami. But it still cracks. Anything concrete will crack. If there's anyone selling you the dream of a concrete wall na hindi nagka-crack, hindi yan totoo and sobrang tagal ko na hinanap yung concrete na hindi nagka-crack and I've never found it before. There's ways to mitigate it and minimize it but it still does crack when there's movement. So, how do we repair it? Well, sa amin, hindi naman ganyan karami yung mga cracks, but we're planning to do a big renovation here at the Skypod, and for this part, we're going to cover it up with marble. Sobrang ganda, I've ordered it already. Abangan nyo yung video na yun. Some of them, like yung crack dito, we're just going to leave it as is. Feeling ko naman, it gives that rustic feel na bagay sa aesthetic ng wall na to. So, I'm okay with it. As long as wala siyang water coming in, I'm perfectly fine with that. But what if kailangan talaga natin ayusin? So, my recommendation for that would be, first, don't fix it yet. As long as walang tubig, don't fix it yet. Wait for at least about three to five years kasi yung example natin kanina, gumagalaw pa yung bahay, di ba? Give the house some time to settle. And once you've done that, makikita natin na yung crack hindi na lumalaki, hindi na humahaba. That is the time that you want to repair it. And repairing it is fairly simple. Guys, dapat pala na kailangan na namin tong i-renovate tong area na to and make it better aside from the crack. Kasi ngayon ko lang na naalala. <laughs> Sobrang dumi. 
the past person who did this didn't do a good job. It's because this is a rough finish, so mabilis siya madumihan and it's very hard to clean. So that's why we're also doing the renovation. But yung cracks would be easily covered up. But if kailangan yung repair to, it's fairly easy. What you'll need to do is chisel the crack so that lumaki siya ng konte. And then, nilalagyan natin ng concrete epoxy. You'll need a concrete epoxy such as this one. This particular one is from Pioneer. And ang maganda is that you're looking for the HV, yung high viscosity, para hindi siya, after applying, hindi siya nagsasag. Sometimes we use like multi-purpose epoxy also and that works well. So again, we just take out a part of the crack so that we can place in the epoxy. And after placing the epoxy, you'll have to repaint the whole wall. Hindi pwede yung nirepair lang natin yung pinipinturahan kasi magkaiba na yung bagong pintura and yung old paint. So mas maganda talaga na yung buong section ng wall ay pipinturahan natin ulit. That's also why I recommend that you wait a little bit before doing this because the cracks might reappear if you do it too early. So for those of you na nagme-message sa akin na hours oh, later there's leaks coming through our walls. All you have to do is do that twice, so inside and out, and hopefully that will solve the problem. As long as hindi malakas yung tubig, that will solve your problem. But paano yung sobrang pagpaminsan binabaha, pumapasok yung tubig, or paminsan yung mga sa basement areas na tumatagos talaga na malakas yung tubig? Well, meron tayong video actually na ginawa dati all about that pero if hindi kayo nakinig sa class <laughs> we use this one this is the watertight 100 and it's an instant plug so for example ito yung butas or ito yung malaking crack all we have to do is just place this para to siyang cemento and mix it with water and make sure to use gloves and lagay natin dyan. and the best part about this is that pwede siyang gamitin kahit na may tubig pa na tumatagos. So if it's flooding outside and pumapasok yung tubig, you can still use it and repair it right away. Which makes this pretty, pretty awesome. But kagaya ng example natin kanina when repairing cracks on the wall, this one also needs some bite. Hindi niya kaya if hairline crack lang ang meron and then nilalagay natin so hindi siya makakakapit. So we'll have to make it a little bit bigger so that pwede natin siyang malagay and we can hold it in place. So, that's it. This is the Watertight 100. We've talked about this before. Dapat nakinig kayo. Next topic natin. Ito is one of the main concerns and one of the main questions na nakukuha ko palagi sa Instagram is we have a problem with a roof deck. Yung roof deck namin nagli-leak. It's like every two weeks may nagme-message sa akin ito. If not ito, yung mga walls sa likod, yung mga exposed walls, slater nagmo-moist, nagli-leak, nagmo-mold. So, first, let's talk about the roof slab. So, itong roof slab na to, although sa amin medyo maliit lang yung part na to, pero even before waterproofing it, you have to make sure that the water flows directly into the gutter. Bawal yung mga pools of water or yung mga perfectly flat na flooring na yung water doesn't know where to go and it's just left there in puddles. That is the biggest problem. Kahit anong klaseng waterproofing pa yan, if the deck is not properly sloped, you will have problems. So make sure, even before waterproofing, it's sloping towards the right direction. For this, it's going straight there and straight to that area. So that is for the roof deck. For the waterproofing itself naman, di ba kanina we were talking about how concrete expands and contracts and how the house moves. So kailangan natin ng something that is flexible and may some sort of reinforcement against any sort of movement. So this is one perfect example of a waterproofing that's good. It's by Pioneer. Pioneer is our sponsor for today. But this is their power flex and it's a flexible cementitious fiber reinforced acrylic type waterproofing so with this all you have to do is mix this with cement and para lang siyang pintura that you brush it on and you use it on the flooring of your concrete slab or yung mga walls natin pwede din yung lagyan natin ng waterproofing just by using this one so that's one way to go about it. But meron pa mga ibang problema eh. Paano pag may malaking cracks yung floor slab namin? Anong gagawin ko? Hindi naman kaya sa mga ganyan-ganyan lang kasi medyo malaki yung cracks. Meron tayong solution for that, ma'am sir. In this day and age, hindi tayo nauubusan 
ng solutions for any home problem. So, mabilis lang talaga to ayusin whatever problem we have. We just have to know what to do. So, with this, dati nagkakaproblema kami kasi nag-crack to during an earthquake. And nagli-leak ng tubig dun sa loob ng bahay namin. And there are so many ways that you can fix it. Dito ang ginamit namin is Elastoseal. Or if you want something na mas mura, you can use Elastoquick. These are two sealant types of solutions. But paano pag malaki yung crack? Like, kasha na yung mga 5 peso coin, ganyan na level, or even bigger. So I would recommend that you use a concrete epoxy such as this one. I actually recommend this concrete epoxy na LV or low viscosity. So, letter A at letter B, mix mo to, and then you can just put it in. The good thing about low viscosity, kanina for the walls we were using this na HV, is that the low viscosity version is self-leveling. Paglagay mo siya, magle-level siya on its own, unlike this one na medyo mas matigas siya. So, it's a little bit harder to use on flat surfaces. This just makes life easier. So, HV for mga vertical places and this one is perfect for mga flat places. So, that's it. These are the solutions for the leaks in mga concrete slabs or concrete walls natin. Sobrang dami talaga mga problema when it comes to maintaining a house. Sometimes it's bad workmanship that becomes the problem but sometimes it's just nature in general taking its toll on the house. Pero all these skills that we've talked about, parang nakikerry over natin into like forever, till we're old and gray. So once you learn how to fix leaks, forever ka nang marunong mag-fix ng leaks. And although we didn't cover everything very specifically, kasi if not, baka 45 minutes na tong video na to, please leave a comment down below on what specific item you want us to cover so we can cover that in detail and pwede nating himay-himayin every detail of every step of let's say for example repairing a crack so comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you later